I consider myself more like a facilitator. At the end of the day, I am accountable for whatever happens at the school. Our currency is our reputation, but we have to deal with multiple stakeholders, faculty, staff, students, alumni, recruiters, corporate partners and media. So, my role is to make sure that we have all these pieces well synchronized. You hear the voices of different groups and you have systems and processes in place such that work gets done at the right time and my role would be to delegate the work to the appropriate people and make sure that things get done properly. I truly believe delegation is not only for distribution of work, but delegation is important for succession planning. Because now, if something happens to me, I travel so much, the school is in very good hands. Not just a pair of hands, but many such hands. The first is inclusiveness. Second, I would say non-hierarchical. And third, what I would say participative. I am not a person I would use that I am the dean of the school, so you have to do this. Rather than power, use influence. Inclusiveness, let people say what they have to say. So, include them in the decision making rather than they hear from someone else. For people to trust you, you first have to trust others. And I have worked with them. I have been at the school now 21 years. And you cannot be at the top position without having a level of trust in some of your key people. And if you trust them, they will never go against you. Micromanagement is the other name of mistrust. Th that's my personal belief. This is my own saying that micromanagement is the other name of mistrust. And second, for you to trust, you have to be secure. Insecure personalities cannot compromise on trust. It is not a question of it takes time. See, you look at people in the school, you see their teaching, you interact with them and I do not want to use the word gut feel, but you have a sense and I am a big believer that you have to listen to your inner voice. You, and because at the end of the day, whom do you please most? You first have to please yourself. You, that means you have to feel comfortable with the decision you made. Now, it may turn out to be good. It may not turn out to be good. But as I always say that a mistake is a mistake if repeated twice, otherwise it is a learning experience. When I say I am having fun, it is a joint fun that includes the fun at the family level, which is the personal level and also fun at the professional level, which is the work. So it is not that you optimize one or the other, you optimize the joint. So, in an Indian system, we grew up in a joint family system. Five of us in the family, we all live together. Till today, my father would live with us. If we work in the same town, we live together. So, once you grew up with that habit of adjusting, compromising and sharing, you have that mindset. And I use this similar structure when working here. Now, definitely if I had time, I would devote some more time to the family. But for you to reach the top, you have to sacrifice. You cannot just optimize at each level. So, some sacrifice we all make, but that sacrifice is worth making because my family knows that life is about making a difference.